Hey everybody, we're back. Carolina Diggers. My name is Richard. On this episode, we're going to be looking at another pinpointer. This one is actually the one we said we were going to do after the last two. Um, let's take a look, see what we got. All right. Um, taking a look at the box. Um, Looks kind of neat. But like I said, this is the Pootie Bee. Pootie Bee. Um, I don't know what that is. Can you see that? Maybe that's upside down. Can you see that? This thing says, for whatever reason, says it was made 12 24 1995. I'm, I'm guessing it was made. I don't know. The sticker is anyway. Um, it's got peacock feathers on there. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure what that means. But uh, let's take a look and see what we got inside. We got a pinpointer. Like I said, a pooty bee. Pooty, pooty bee. It's got a little, it's got a little button, a little, a little more um, stout button than on the uh, GT pointers we did. Um, last week, um, I do uh, dig that little um, hook, hole, whatever you want to call it, lanyard, clip, something. Um, that's kind of neat. Actually, I kind of like that better than the um, one on the Garrett Carrot, which is um, just just a little hole with a with a little metal key ring on it which is kind of neat um it is also appears to be the same size and it has the same type of end on it pretty much flat with a little nipple thingy on the end um there are no measurements on it so you can't there's not a ruler of any kind on it, so like you have on the Pro Pointer, the Carrot Pro Pointer. Um, let's see what's on the inside. This thing feels a lot heavier. Really weird. This feels. The weird part is this feels like this does with the battery in it. I mean, it's got the battery in it. And it feels, it feels about the same weight. This actually feels really, really good. Um, and as you can tell, there's no battery. So we're gonna put the Energizer battery in it, like we did the other ones, and twist it down. Oh, look at there. Boot it up. It made a little noise when it did, but Oh. oh, I don't know. Anyway, it feels good. It feels just like, feels just like the other one. This one actually says Pootie B metal detector. <clears throat> Notice how they all have that same little sticker on it like the Garrett's do. Um, it does have the little edge scraper, scraper blade. It's off to the side, just like that one. It's got a little LED light, which is flush, right there. It's flush mounted. Um, the speakers are different, the way the speakers are. One's square and this one's oval. Uh, but it has a good feel to it. Let's see what else comes in this box. Ooh, the little stretchy thing that hooks to it, which we're not going to put on. Um, okay. Whatever that little sticker is on the end of that box, right there, it's right there also. And it says, it gives a little card that says, wherever you go, whatever you do, I will 
be right here waiting for you. Kind of hard to read backwards. Anyway, it's uh, kind of neat. Kind of like a thank you note. Thank you for purchasing this lovely product. If you want to pause it, you can. It's kind of neat. I don't see very many pinpointers giving thank you notes for purchasing um, anything. Oh, I was about to say. I was about to say, I don't think this thing comes with a little carrying case. And this is like the other one, Velcro with a little snap on it. See if that comes loose. That's on there. Oh yeah, it comes loose. Just like the others. Just like the Garrett, it just lies right into place. Kind of neat. And it comes with uh, another, um, another owner's manual for the pin pointer. Uh, just a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and we'll fold this out and if you want to you can stop the video when I start it back up and you can take a look and read the instructions if you like be right back but for me it'll be like right, instant. here we go boys and girls the first side if you'd like to hit pause and uh, that way you can take a look and see what uh read what you want to read and we'll flip it over here in a second and do the other side. All right, and we're back, and here is side two. So you can read it. Basically, when I was looking at this one, I had high expectations for it because the actual thing for it said IP68, but now that I'm looking around on it, it looks like and it's here's not. The specifications if anybody just wants to read the specification part. It looks like it's the same frequency, 12 kilohertz. So most likely it's probably going to be in the same range as the GP or the GT or GP, whatever it was, GP, GT pointer. Um, it says the uh, carbon batteries are 16 hours and alkaline batteries are 30 hours and rechargeable are 8 hours and um, yeah, that's about all, all right. right. So I was reading this about the, uh, waterproof pin pointer. It says it is IP66 standard waterproof rating. Um, basically that means you can operate it in the rain, but don't drop it into water. I think, I don't think I'm going to try it. I was going to drop it into, in the sink because we have a metal sink. I thought it was a IP68 and see if it still worked, but I think it will not do good if I do that. Anyway, here is the components, same as before. Uh, vibrating alarms, power switch, LED light, exclusive scraping blade, the 360 degree side scan detection area, and the pinpointing tip. Incredible. And like before, we're still using the printable ruler from printableruler.net. And to show you that this one is the same, eight inches is pretty much where the eight inch mark is and the zero is where the zero is. So there is no um, uh, shrinkage or anything in the print. It's uh, pretty much where it should be when we do the actual um, uh, review. So let's uh, get the show on the road and see what we can do. No, my hat's not on. All right, we're back. Um, we basically put the same measurements as we had before from the Garrett Carrot. That was my quarter hitting my arm again, as you can hear. I don't know what my arm has with quarters, but apparently they stick to them. Um, I, I put basically the same measurements down as before from the, the other sheet of paper. Um, one dot, when you see it, will be a dime. Two dots will be a penny. Three dots will be a nickel. And four dots will be a quarter. Um, just a little easier to do. And today, for the white, grayish, light gray, whatever you want to call this, 
Cootie Bee. We're gonna use the blue highlighter. So let's uh, get this show on the road and see what we can find out. All right, we'll be like right before, back. we had the same thing on the table where we tried it and see if we could get the stuff to work. All right, there's one right there. I don't remember where the other one was. All right, there's one. Wait, no. There's one. And it doesn't find one. Two, okay. One, two, there they are. It can read both of them through the table. All right, since we got that taken care of, let's uh, get this set up and see what the distances are with each individual coin. All right, here we go. Coin. There's the same um, basic areas where the last one was. Maybe just a hair off on a few, but it's pretty much the same spot as before. Um, show you that it is on, there's the light. So we are going to take the dime and we're going to, let you see it, the dime. It's basically the same one. The only thing different is the quarter. Um, I spent it, so we had to use a different one. I'm a bad boy, I know. But anyway. Same spot as the Garrett Pinpointer. Let's try the penny. There she is, same little black spot and everything. Run it down. Look at there. Same spot as the Garrett Pinpointer. Now for the Nickel that looks really weird with the weird crease on it. Like I said, somebody told me that this was a prison nickel where they take the nickel and just keep, I guess, pressing down on it or wearing it down or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what the uh, results are for it. Coming in, coming in. Nope, not right there. Kind of scary, isn't it? Right, that is literally the same spot uh, uh, as the penny and the quarter, which is now a nasty black quarter from 2015, I think it said. Somewhere on there. Uh, I don't see it. It's so dark I don't see it. On there somewhere. 2015. Anyway, it's on there, I think. Anyway, back to the test. He's sliding up. He's sliding up. <laughs> and that's scary. Is that that scary or what? All right. Oh. Really weird. It's like some days it gets it. All right. Same spot. Right there, really weird. That one doesn't do one higher or one lower. Two, three. For this one, it doesn't matter what the setting was. It did the dime at the one spot, which was really odd. And let me pull this up just a little bit. I'll try it just to see. Weird. Yeah. So crazy. I don't want to tell you. 
Yep, try that one more time just to see. Yep. Look at that. Isn't that the weirdest thing? They're all in the same spot. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, let me flip you around. Yeah, me. Initial response or initial testing and everything. Um, it's different than the GT pointer, GP pointer. I'm keep calling it GT, but it's really GP pointer. Um, let me turn this off. It's uh, really weird. It's like it gets to a certain spot, and it doesn't matter what it is, nickel, penny, or quarter, and it doesn't go any further. So the actual depth of the pooty bee um, is not as good looking for the other ones I did. Not as good as the GP pointer, if you remember. Um, there was the there was the orange one, and then there was the blue one. Whereas this one, see where where it stopped was like an inch and a half on the blue one, inch and a half, a little bit past an inch and a half on the on the blue one for depth. But for the pooty bee, which I thought felt really good in my hand, it didn't go past an inch um, for anything, for anything, nothing. Just got to an inch and then stopped. Um, so. With that being said, um, if I didn't know it, uh, I don't know if I would notice it or anything, but looking at the test and seeing that it went to a certain spot and this went, um, yeah, performance wise, not as good as the Garrett Carrot. None of them so far. Uh, GB pointers or the Pooty Bee. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're getting ready to do another one right after this one. Um, it will be, I don't have a clue what this thing is called. Excuse me, I had to reach over and get it, but we're getting ready to do, <clears throat> I'm gonna call it the Shark Sea. Um, so hopefully this one will be pretty neat because this is a completely different looking design. Um, I had one guy on the Facebook page uh, mention that it looked a lot like the White's TRX. I think that's the one. Um, so we are interested to see how this one is going to go. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. I could really use it. Um, trying to get the uh, subscribe rate up a little higher than what we have. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Later.